And here they sit, the winners from the northern town of Bremen. Their boss, Fritz Merkler, on the left, is visibly proud of his small team and its big achievement. Again, a big thank you from the management. All concerned worked hard for this moment. It's all right, we survived, but speaking for the whole team, we really pushed it to the limit to compensate for the head start that Astrium had on us and to make ourselves competitive and put together a good offer. And you took it as a sporting challenge? Sure, with plenty of ambition. And as a Bremen resident, you can say we like to win against Bayern. It was a David versus Goliath victory against the conglomerate EADS. Little OHB, mid-sized and flexible, was simply less expensive. That's what it looks like, the satellite model for the Galileo navigation system, the European prestige project. Often on the brink of failure, now finally ready for the starting phase. 14 satellites for 566 million euros. Now the family-owned company has to remind itself not to get too euphoric. The company's biggest ever contract is reaping applause from the whole region. Bremen is known not only for the fairy tale of the town musicians, but also now for aerospace prowess as well. Galileo is supposed to be more accurate than the US's GPS system and free from military control. OHB is now spearheading this huge, publicly funded EU project. We're on a tight schedule. We have just a couple of years to build the satellites, which Ariane Spaß will then put into orbit. For the Galileo team, that means practically saying goodbye to their private lives. A mountain of work is waiting, even when the group's current 25 members grow to 100. Meanwhile, the bidding war with arch-rival EADS Astrium continues for an additional 14 satellites. The company is confident it can land that order too, right? Um, well, I'd say we could discuss that later, but it could become a few units more. Of course, the satellites are being built successively, not all at once. And if we keep going with another 14, then I'd say that's something that could happen. So, even if the little satellite builder from Bremen is reaching for the stars, it's still keeping its feet on the ground.